Hello everyone, my name is Fox. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the Next Doc. Thank you very much to the Next Doc team for sending this out to me for review. I've had this now for a few months now, but with real life work, uh, vacation, other devices coming in, I've constantly had to put this behind, but I'm finally getting a video out. Apologies for the delay. I have a few thoughts that I want to talk about here. Specifically, how the Next Doc team pitched this to me was using this device as an accessory to your Steam Deck to transform your Steam Deck into a laptop. Now, there's a, a few things here that, yes, it does work. I don't really think it's going to be worthwhile, especially because uh, you're going to have a bunch of accessories coming along with you. So you're going to have to have a dongle to this. Then you're going to be having to connect power to this. So it's a bunch of stuff to just get everything rolling. Uh, I think it's a little bit cumbersome to take out with you in that regard. However, the Next Doc does offer a bunch of different features, especially when you consider it from the point of view uh, as a portable monitor. Now, I have taken a look at portable monitors for the Steam Deck before as well. However, the Next Doc offers a few key benefits that portable monitors do not have. Uh, for the number one is that you can pass through the keyboard and touchpad and touchscreen as inputs. Now this also works outside of the Steam Deck. You can do it for single board computers like a Raspberry Pi or your phone. Now taking the Next Dock out with you and your phone, your phone is always with you, so having a Next Dock with you, it's a pretty normal sized laptop and a USB connection, that's pretty normal. You can also charge your phone with the Next Dock itself because the Next Dock has its own internal battery. Now that's one other advantage that this particular device has over portable monitors is that portable monitors typically don't have their own integrated battery. The Next Dock, the Next Dock does. So you can alternately charge the device from the Next Dock battery or disable that if you wanted to get extra battery life out of the Next Dock's own internal display. Now you could also do that for other things. Let's say you wanted to connect a console to the Next Dock as a portable monitor. You can do that. So an Xbox, a PlayStation 5, all of that will just work through the HDMI connector right there. So there's a lot to like about the Next Dock specifically. We're going to take a look at a bunch of different features in a moment. I just wanted to kind of basically touch base on what I think is going to be worthwhile about the next talk. Let's go ahead and start, start taking a look at what we have here. So here we have our USB-C. This is where we connect everything. This is where uh, input comes in. So a phone, a uh, single board computer, or your Steam Deck will connect here. And then the uh, display output, as well as the keyboard, touchpad, and touchscreen functionality will translate back to the device itself, as well as taking the video signal from that device so that it will be displayed on this particular device. On the right-hand side of the device, right here, what you can see is another USB-C port and this acts as like a hub of sorts so that you can extend f uh, functionality outside of what's going on to the connected device. So let's say you want to connect another USB-C hub to branch out and have USB-A ports as well as some other functionality like full SD slot. This is the power on off button that'll actually turn the device on or off. We have a micro SD card slot here which can actually translate uh, to the device itself as an additional micro SD slot. And then we have our power port here. This is where you'll charge the battery itself or do pass through for the device and then a three and a half millimeter audio jack. On the back we have what are uh, this is basically a 360 feature so you can open up the device and fully flip it around like you would for um, tenting laptops so you can fully flip it around and tent it if you wished all right so without further ado let's go ahead and start taking a look at this device proper I'm gonna go ahead and I've never I have not yet removed this so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now All right, let's go ahead and power on the device. The display is a 13.3 inch IPS touchscreen with a resolution of 1920 by 1080. The brightness is 300 nits. The battery is a 44 watt hour battery. It is a 2S1P battery enclosure. The speakers are four by one watt speakers. The keyboard is an edge to edge full size backlit keyboard with multi-touch trackpad. And the weight of the device is 1.2 kilograms. All right, I've gone ahead and opened up the device and just powered it on. So now right here you see the next dock is ready to connect. Before we go ahead and do that, I've already gone ahead and lowered the brightness just so that it doesn't challenge what my camera's trying to capture here. I've already lowered the brightness a bunch. If I were just to go ahead and boost the brightness, you can see that my camera's going to get kind of blown out. So I'm going to go ahead and lower that just so that it's easier to view, especially with the outside lighting that's going on here. Apologies also because I'm at the edge of my table here. Uh, that is pretty much how you're going to get to the on-screen display is uh, think of this little box that's always here and you're going to go here and just swipe down and that'll quickly bring up the on-screen display which is super awesome if you wanted to switch inputs it's either on maybe HDMI or we're going to go ahead and switch to USB-C. You can either have the pass-through charging or stop the pass-through charging if you wanted there and then you also have features like uh, HDR or color temperature so go ahead and get over here all right, so let's go ahead and use one of the features that I think would be most worthwhile for a lot of people is connecting this as a portable monitor. So I'm going to go ahead and flip this all the way around. 
All right, so here we are running just fine, outputting to the next dock itself. If you wanted to, in a sense, have a portable monitor that you can bring around with you that is battery powered, so you wouldn't need to have an external power source to be able to play a game using a bigger display. Let's go over here and just start bumping up the brightness a bit. There we are. So obviously this is one area where it's quite understood what you would be getting out of the next dock in terms of exclusively a battery powered portable display. Let's go ahead and try to take a look at this from the aspect of using this device as a laptop, using the Steam Deck as a laptop. All right, so here we are in laptop mode. So you can see I can click escape to kind of just bring up the side menu and then here's where I would go to the desktop, we'll get that there in a moment, but if you can see, I can just go ahead and just touch this and the touchscreen's working. So touchscreen functionality does work. Additionally, you can see that I have a mouse here and if I use, you know, two finger scrolling, that works as, it, as you would expect it to. Let's go ahead and just jump into desktop mode because that is an area where there is a clear benefit for using the next dock with the Steam Deck itself. All right, so when you're in desktop mode, what's going to happen is the Steam Deck's display is going to be the main display, and by default, you're always going to have the next dock or whatever lap, uh, monitor you have being to the right of that. So we're going to go ahead and go over here, and we're going to make this the primary display, and click Apply here. And now this will now be our primary, which is kind of how we're going to want to drive it. But at this point, everything's going to be pretty much well understood in that you can do whatever you're looking to accomplish. So let's say that you wanted to do something like with console, you can bring that up over here, maximize this screen. And now you have your terminal window and whatever you wanted to do. You can kind of just go go ahead and if you needed to do anything that you needed to hit the terminal for installing anything on the Steam Deck, this is a nice avenue for doing it or just using it as a desktop experience by itself. All right, so I've gone ahead and opened up Edge Browser over there and it opened up there. So let's go ahead and move the window over here. Let me go ahead and change the brightness here just so that you guys can see a little bit easier without things getting blown out. Here we are on YouTube. I'm taking a look at my video that I took a look at with other portable monitors on the Steam Deck. <laughs> In that particular video, we're just taking a look at a portable monitor for the Steam Deck. In this particular case, we're transforming the Steam Deck into a laptop. And you can do any type of laptop type of functions that the Steam Deck can become in its Linux desktop experience or using it as a portable display. Overall, the Next Dock is a very versatile piece of equipment. So that's my look at the next dock itself. It is a pretty good accessory for the Steam Deck, but even outside of that, it does offer versatility, it does have some utility outside of that. Again, a thing that I keep on drumming up is connecting it to your phone, extending your phone to making your phone a laptop. That is actually a thing that I could see as going around, especially because it's gonna have an easier time charging your battery on your smartphone up to a percentage that is worthwhile, as opposed to sapping the battery from the device onto your Steam Deck. That's kind of a losing proposition and eventually you're gonna drain the battery here. Uh, as a portable monitor for the Steam Deck, yeah, that's really good, especially because of the built-in battery. So if you were looking as, at a portable monitor for the Steam Deck, I would say take a look at the next dock itself. It's because it offers more utility than a portable monitor does by itself. That is pretty much my look at the next dock. As always, guys, thank you for your time, and thanks for watching.